Welcome to Mental Residue. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another infrequent episode of Mental Residue, the official podcast of Scotty Pond Designs. For those that don't know me, my name is Scott Pond. I'm an artist, designer, and general purveyor of all things creative. What I want to do today with this video podcast is do two things. First, I want to wish all my friends, family, clients, and fans a very, very happy holiday. I know it's been a struggle for many of us this year, both financially and possibly emotionally, but I want to basically just go out and make sure that everyone knows that I wish them a very happy holiday. I hope this year was great, or at least as great as you can make it, and I hope that you can make next year even better. The second thing I want to talk about is design related. As many of you know, I've worked with a variety of authors for cover designs and illustrations and graphic designs such as Scott Sigler, Matt Wallace, Jake Bible, A.P. Stevens, uh, Ken Gaynor, and several others. Recently I've begun working with Paul Cooley. Paul Cooley, if you don't know, writes horror stories with a psychological twist. These are typical, well, not so typical rather, these are not so typical stories involving demons, deities, the occult, all wrapped around how it affects the psychology and the psychological aspects of human beings. We just wrapped up a couple months ago his hardcover release of Garaga's Children, Ancients, for a limited edition hardcover, which you can see right here. As you can see, very beautiful hardcover. I know Paul has several of these left. Let me go ahead and zoom in. It's got some great illustrations on the inside. Hardcover featuring the Garaga symbol. And nice spine featuring some stone cut lettering. Beautiful. Get out there. Buy one of these today. One of the most recent things that Paul's been working on is releasing his The Street Stories in a consolidated ebook format for his fans. If you're not familiar with the street, what the street is is Paul's take on what happens to our favorite childhood puppets when the corporations step in and close down public broadcasting. What happens to these poor puppets when they no longer have a purpose in life? Watch the debauchery and the struggles of these puppets as they spiral down into depravity. To coincide with the release of this ebook collection, We've been working on an ebook cover, of course, which is why I'm here. We've been working on an ebook cover of The Street by Paul Cooley. To coincide with the release of this ebook, we've decided to release the cover as a poster for all of you people who love the work that I do, the work that Paul does. It's a merging of our two evil geniuses in a beautiful, very detailed, Easter egg rich format. So why are we here today? Well, lucky you, you get to see the unboxing of the first set of these posters that arrived not even an hour ago. We're planning on releasing these posters in two size formats, 12 by 16 inches and 18 by 24 inches for those who like it supersized. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see behind me, I've got the shipping container. And like most things, when you're dealing with print services, they go overboard on the shipping container. The posters are really only about this big and this big. But I get this huge honking tube that I get to play with. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. Pull it out. Pull out the typical stuffing. And slide out the posters. And we've got the bundle of the first set of... The Street Posters by Paul Cooley, as illustrated by Scott Pond. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. What I'll do first is I'll show you the smaller size, so you can get a reference using my glorious physique as a reference for sizing. The first size, as I mentioned, is a nice 12 by 16 inch print. As you can see, very detailed imagery dealing with one of the alleys on the street. 
Go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit of it. Ooh. Ah. Pretty. So, using my glorious noggin, which you know is supersized, as a reference, you can see the size of the small version of the poster. And, of course, using my body as a reference again, here is the large version of the poster. Again, same amount of detail, same amount of beautifulness, if that's a word. So, just wanted to throw these out there so you can see what you could get if you head over to my Etsy shop. That's etsy.com slash shop slash Scott E. Pond Designs. You can also see more of Paul E. Cooley's work over at shadowpublications.com. And, of course, you can go over and see some of my other hardcover and interior illustrations for various authors over at scottpond.com. So, again, I want to wrap it up by saying happy holidays. Hopefully you remember the New Year's when it comes. And have a great new year. Talk to you later, folks. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Mental Residue. This has been a production of Scott Pond Design Studios. The preceding audio cast was conducted, recorded, mixed, and produced by Scott Pond. Mental Residue is copyright 2012 by Scott Pond and is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution, Non-Commercial, No Derivatives, 3.0, Unported License. For questions and comments, please send an email to scott at scottpond.com. For more information on Scott Pond or his designs, please visit scottpond.com. Thank you and have a fantastic day.